I stopped in the last video abruptly uh, because uh, I had to stop the video for some reason. So yeah, I was discussing this question that uh, let me go over this question again. So the question was 2 to the power x is equal to 30 and we want to find the value of x. So you can do as I did in this example, you can take log on both sides, but if you want to do applying changing this into log form, this is an exponential form uh, using the definition of log. I can write the same thing as x is equal to log base 2 of 30. Also, or you can also read like this. One thing that I like to do when I'm changing from the exponent form to the base form is, I look at the base. Now this is the base in the exponential form and this is the base in the log form. The base in both the forms would be the same. Okay, so the power, the index becomes the answer and the answer becomes the argument. This is called the argument, so I'm not going into that. So this is how you can read 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Now, applying this rule, I have discussed this rule here. Uh, where is that rule? Okay. So, okay, let me write the rule again. So there's a rule like this, which is one of the neatest rule. Log base b of x. Okay. Log base b of x is equal to log... I'm not writing the base here. It's log base x divided by log log of b. So base is of course 10 here. Yeah? So log, ba log base b of x is log of x divided by log of b. You can also do natural log. This is the same as natural log. Those who learn natural log, you can understand natural log has a base of e. This is, I'll show you both ways. It is the same as natural log of x divided by natural log of natural log of b. I also told you I can make a guess what the number of, what x would be. I know 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 4 or 2 raised to 4 is 16. And 2 to the power of 5 is 32. If you know this fact, from this two values, I can, as 30 is between 16 and 32, your x has to be between 5 and 4. So this is a guess that I'm making, a very valid guess. My answer should be always, or should be between 4 and 5. So let's do that. So get your calculators out. So in this case, if you want to do x, so x would be nothing but log of 30 divided by log 2. Here the base is 10. Or there's also a key on a calculator called ln, which is called red like this. Ln, there's, this is red like this. Natural log of, natural log of 30 divided by natural log of e. So natural log of 2, sorry. So here the base is 10, so let me write the base with a different color. Here the base is 10 by default, and here the base is E. Okay, now those who learned calculus or uh, higher mathematics, E is a number in maths widely used. So let's use a calculator. So this is, you press log 30, let me slightly move the calculator, log 30. Uh, divided by log 2. That would be 4.9. This is or you can also press natural log of 30. Oops, natural, natural log of 30 divided by natural log of 2. will give you the same number. Okay, so the answer is your x is 4.9 in 1 dp. This is in one decimal place. Rounding to the first decimal place, this is your answer. Okay, let me do one more example. Okay, 9 to the power x is 15. So writing this as a log form, uh, 
the base is 9, so I can write x is equal to log base 9 of 15. So as we saw in the last video, so this is nothing but x is equal to log 15 divided by log 7. So can you make a guess what your log of 7? Okay, so let me make a guess what answer would make sense. 9 to the power 1 is 9. 9 to the power 1 is 9. And 9 squared is 81. So 15 comes between which two numbers? Of course, it comes between 9 and 81. So your answer should be between 1 and 2. So let us check that. So slightly moving it. Uh, log. What was the question? I can't see the question. Oops. So this is log. Log 15. Divide by log 7. Or natural log of 15 divided by natural log of 7. It will also give you the same number. So it's 1.39 in two decimal places. So x is 1.39. Okay, now here again, this is an exponent form. So this is a log form. We want to find the value of x. So changing this into the exponent form, I can say x to the power 3 is 1728. Okay, now to get rid of this x cube, I have to take the cube root of this side. So cube root, you write cube root like this. Cube root of x cube is equal to, I'm taking cube root of both sides, cube root of 1, 7, 2, 8. So cube root of x cube, cube root and x cube are opposite of each other. They cancel each other out. So x is nothing but cube root of, 1728. Probably it is cube root of a neat number. I don't know. So let us check on the calculator. This is how you do cube root. So th press 3, then shift, then this power key. So this is the cube root of a number which is 1728 equal. It's 12. Okay. So let us check. It is 12, which means what does this mean? This means that 12 cube, which is 12 times 12 times 12, should be 1728. Okay, so also let us check that. 12 times 12 times 12 is 1728.